today I'm going to be sharpening my chisels. Uh, something you can do at home. You only really need a bench grinder and a grindstone. And when you're working with wood, basically the sharper your tools are, the better job you're going to end up with. So I've got this chisel here. Uh, you can see that I hit a nail or something with it and it's chewed out the tip of it. So what you need to do is grind it back so it's flat. But you've got to grind it in a way so that there's a bit of a curve on the tip. I've got a picture here just to explain that. So you might think you have to sharpen it to this shape. But this is the kind of result you want. That's, that's the way I was taught. And yeah, you can get a much sharper tip when you back this top section away. You want a gentle curve in there as opposed to just a straight edge. What you want to do is just rest it on the fence here and just gently move it left to right until you get that nice shape that I showed you. Don't forget your safety gear. Now that's ground back, we've got to get the uh, grindstone out to get rid of all this debris on the tip. It's kind of burnt over at the end. So I'll show you how to get rid of that, but that's basically the result you want to get with your grind wheel. So this is my grindstone. There's a coarse side and a finer side. We've done all the hard work with the grind wheel, so we'll just be using the fine side of the block. Alright, I've just moved to the ground here. You want to just be somewhere stable. Uh, put a bit of wood at the end because when you run along here, you don't want to damage the tip of your chisel. Now some people put oil on these. Um, I was taught not to. Basically all you need is some water. Just wet the block down a bit. Now initially just to get these burrs off, you can run the chisel flat along here. Then just grab yourself a bit of scrap wood and you can run the chisel up just on the corner like this. Another little trick to get all the burrs off the edge. If you have a timber fence on your grind wheel, you can just run it up like this. And that'll help take away any chunks of metal that are left behind. So this is our grindstone, this rectangle, and these are the chisels. This is the wrong way to do it. You don't want to be so shallow in your angle that you're running the whole chisel along. You want a bit of a steeper angle so it's only the very front that gets sharpened. So start out with that back part of the angle on the grindstone, and then you can tip the chisel up, and you can basically rock it backwards and forwards, and you can feel which edge of the chisel it's on. You can press it down so it's actually on the front edge and the back edge. But once you feel that, you just want to go a little bit further higher, just a little bit, and push down the whole length of the block. You only have to do that a couple times. Now essentially what you're looking for is just that polished metal look on that front edge. You don't want the whole thing to be polished, that means you're too shallow with your angle. So we can see here that that's ideally what you want and you want it the whole way across. If you want to get the most life out of your grindstone, make sure you're moving it from left to right in each pass so you can do a 
pass on the left side, a pass in the middle, a pass on the right side and keep alternating. If you've just focused in the middle, you'll actually wear out a bit of a dip in the stone and that's going to affect how well you can sharpen your tools. Once you've done that, you can just run the chisel on the flat like this. This will help get rid of any more burrs that you've, you've made in the sharpening process. When you are sharpening, try keep things as square as possible. You can see across here how this is square and especially this cutting edge is square to the whole chisel. All these concepts apply whether you're sharpening chisels or even blades in hand planes. The only difference is they're just wider or narrower. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one, just a quick video. Um, obviously the more you practice this, the better you'll get. There's no need to go out and buy a new set of chisels every time they go blunt. You're better off buying the two things that you need to sharpen them yourself at home and um, just practice makes perfect. So give it a go and see what you come up with.